Good morning, a super cool party people, and hello. It is Saturday, I am at work, and I'm looking a little rough, and honestly, I've had a bit of a rough morning. One of the dogs, Dixie, who's elderly, because I'm puppy sitting right now if you didn't see the last vlog, had an accident at like 4.30 in the morning, so I had to get up, clean that up, let her out, and then at 6.30 in the morning, the other dog, Harley, was like, um, I'm also gonna go to the bathroom now, and I was like, are you kidding me? And then I had to be up <laughs> early for work. So I am here now. Also, I'm running on my G7X for probably this whole vlog because I'm not at home, and I just figured it'd be easier. I don't know, maybe the Monday portion will switch back, but so if the audio or the quality or anything else is weird, I think the audio will be off. So sorry, but I'm at the theater. I'm here for like a quick two hours I think this morning and then I have another like quick hour and a half two hours in the afternoon which is super inconvenient because I wasn't supposed to work at all but I'm going to grab my breakfast drink over here slam it <laughs> and then get the show on the road because we are under time constraints today <laughs> so I didn't want to bring like a ton of pop to Jessica's parents house so I just bought myself like a little eight pack of bottles and like Look how cute they are, they're so little, they're so little. Anyway, I had another reason for picking up the camera. <laughs> it was not just this. Oh, I'm listening to Lord of the Rings still. I'm on the second book, and I'm almost done the first half of the second book, which is my favorite. I think I erroneously said that the second half was my favorite, but it's the part that has like, Pippin and Merry and Strider and Aragorn and Gimli and Fangorn and all that. That's my favorite section of the entire Lord of the Rings. And I'm almost near the end of it and I'm so sad because now I have to go to Mordor with Sam and Frodo. It's, it's, I mean, it's so integral to the story, but it's so boring. There have been times that I've skipped it. Anyways, that's just what I want to share. It is currently... 20 after 9, they're setting a tent up outside the theater for like the dancers that are coming in so that they can like have a dry place to wait before they go on the stage. I think it's going to be a disaster. We all kind of think it's going to be a disaster, but they're like, oh no, no, we've got this. It's going to be fine. So should be interesting, but I'm going to be out of here in the next 40-ish minutes, I believe. Um, I just don't know if there's going to be staff coming in before I leave or not because... I think the teachers are supposed to show up at 10. This, yeah, it's been a disaster this entire schedule this weekend, but we'll figure it out and then I get to go home and be with the puppers again until I have to come back at like 1.30. It's great. Anyways, important things I need to share. <laughs> Like a diamond with a curse. Alrighty, so I'm back at the house now. I have my puppers sleeping right there. <laughs> I had lunch and I wrote a blog post, which I haven't done like since mid-January, I think. And uh, did the dishes except for my lunch stuff and um, we've just been chilling. I do have to go back to work in about about an hour now I have to head out, but it'll only be for like an hour and a half, I think. So it shouldn't be too bad. But I'm realizing that I really love my new camera now that I have this one. It's like I'm holding this out as far as I can and it's so not wide angle. So a little bit regret bringing this, but you know, it is what it is. It makes me appreciate what I do have. Um, the one nice thing about this one though is I've got this, um, <laughs> this Joby Gorilla. <laughs> Wait, I might be able to do this without detaching it. Yeah, <laughs> that tripod. And um, it's nice because it's longer than my Manfrotto one that I have, um, but I just don't trust this one to hold up my actual camera. So anyways, I'm just chilling. I'm gonna let, the, let these puppers outside in like uh, 40 minutes so they can go to the bathroom. Oh my God, don't die, don't die. <laughs> so they can go to the bathroom and everything before I head out. I hate leaving them, especially because I thought I was going to be here. But 
it's fine and then once I get back home <laughs> I am done, no more work, which is fantastic. I mean, I'm sure I'll do work. Oh, I have to invoice today, but no more leaving the house. So I'm gonna probably either get into my pajamas or get into my more comfortable sweatpants and, um, you know, just, just chill, watch movies, watch HGTV, whatever. Also, these sweatpants that I'm currently wearing um, are my black ones that I really love and finally I've had them for like four years I think finally my thunder thighs have worn through the fabric enough that there is a hole in the thigh so I think I, I guess I can look at it to see if I can repair it but I, I don't think there's gonna be enough what's the word I'm looking for enough strength in the fabric for the thread to make a difference so they're probably just gonna go which is sad because i really do like them but i have already had to repair them once so anyways i'm rambling for no reason uh, i'm gonna go i'm watching oceans 13 apparently and um i will check in with you probably after i get back from the theater later i think i won't bother bringing my camera when I go next. Probably not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is 10 to 6. I came to the bathroom because I figured the lighting would be better, but I'm just thinking now the audio might be terrible. But I'm just waiting for 6 o'clock so I can feed the puppers. Um, I just put them outside. Neither of them look too jazzed about it, but I was like, just go and go to the bathroom. Um, but yeah, I've just been laying on the chair watching random shows. There was a little bit of an Ocean's Eleven marathon. Um, well, I guess Ocean's Marathon. It was Ocean's Twelve going into Thirteen when I was here for lunch. Then when I came back, it was Ocean's Eight. And then it flipped back to Ocean's Eleven. And I, I switched and I went to the um, a really sappy romantic comedy that I hate. I hate this lens. I am so spoiled by my wide angle lens. Anyways, I need to feed the puppers here quite shortly. I feel like I need to like have the, <laughs> this out like 16 feet from me. Anyways, um, oh, look at them. They're, they're just not happy that I, one, I haven't fed them because it's not their lunch, dinner time yet. And two, that I've just got them out there. I know I'm so mean. I guess I'll let them back in. It's still not dinner. As you can see, they are patiently waiting for dinner by themselves, not bothering me at all. <laughs> but I should definitely probably start getting on that. I think a couple minutes early, oh, sorry, sweetie. A couple minutes early will be okay, they'll survive. And then I think I'm gonna order myself in dinner because I don't, <laughs> every time I take a step, they fall a little bit. Anyways, I don't feel like cooking slash, I don't think I have a ton of food anyways. I planned on ordering in one night. I'm having a bit of an allergic reaction, so I just took some allergy medicine, hence the eyes. But anyways, I will see you later, I guess. I don't know. This I hate this. I like this camera for some things. Daily vlogging, no more. Oh my goodness, I am wiped. As you can see, I ordered in some KFC. Um, and it was good, but I really should have probably just ordered a single meal instead of like, a boneless box because so it's like oh, I have leftovers for tomorrow and like it'll be nice I'll have something for lunch tomorrow, but really didn't need that much anyways It is currently just after 8 30 and I am Exhausted I managed the day pretty well, but over like the last hour Ish I start to really feel like I'm going downhill and I think it's because that one got me up at 4 30 and that one got me up at 6 30 so that plus having to work today. I think I'm just like I also had to take allergy medicine, which isn't helping, I'm sure. Anyways, I think I'm going to go to sleep here very shortly. I just need to give Dixie a pill and some CBD oil at about 9 o'clock. <laughs> and um, then we're just going to have an early night, and I'm probably going to have to get up in the morning again. Uh, like, oh my god, my brain is so tired because I'm sure Dixie will have to go out because she's older she can't hold it as long anymore um and so whatever i can sleep in tomorrow which is nice like i can get up feed the dogs in the morning and then just go back to sleep for a couple hours which will be glorious uh but yeah that's where we're at so i guess um i will see you tomorrow now at this point <laughs> good night good morning and welcome back to the vlog it is sunday morning currently it's a miserable rainy day outside but that is totally okay uh my routine this morning went oh i hear a dog moving at six so i got up and harley 
had had a little puke, but he seems to be doing all right. Let him outside, cleaned up, came back in, he seemed to be fine. <laughs> 7.45, woke up, gave Dixie her pill. I think she went outside at this, no, she did not go outside. 8.45, got up, fed them both, of which Harley was not interested. He's the weird, anxious dog. And then um, went back to sleep <laughs> until 9.30. Then I had to give Dixie her CBD oil, you so good. And then after that, I um, went back to sleep. <laughs> and it's 11.23 now. And I just got up like a couple minutes ago and let them out, went out with them. And um, yeah, now we've reached here. It was, um, had some weird dreams for sure. Can't really remember them, but they were definitely weird dreams. And I slept decently, even though it was very broken up. But that's where we're at. I'm just hanging with my beautiful puppers here. Their parents are coming back today. Which means that at some point I need to like clean up, like get rid of my garbage, do the dishes pack, strip the bed. I mean, I don't need to strip the bed. I just like stripping the bed. And yeah, all that fun stuff. But I'm gonna wake up first and then I'll probably eat in a little bit. I'm just gonna eat leftovers and I have french fries, frozen fries that I brought, so that should be good. And uh, then we'll see how things go from there. The tripod is quite questionable at this point. It's all kind of doing that, so you might fall over. Anyways, it is quarter to two and I just got dressed, legitimately just got dressed. And I washed the dishes, actually I think I, I did that before I got dressed. And I'm slowly gonna start to clean up and tidy up and get ready to evacuate, vacate. That was the word I was going for, vacate the premise. I still haven't heard anything. Um, I ex My guess is they'll probably be here around like eight tonight, I don't know, but I'm gonna strip the bed, take out the garbage, take out the recycling, all that fun stuff. So that's where we're at. My hair is doing questionable things. And it's a kind of miserable day, so there's not really much to do. So I just got HGTV on in the back. And um, maybe at some point I'll accomplish something of note, but I seriously doubt it. And that is totally okay. It's too late now to turn around and back again. This little one is feeling much better and is eating for the first time today. That one's still good. <laughs> I am watching HGTV, um, Hometown, and just on my computer. I got a text that the puppy's parents are on their way. They should be here at like 7, 7.30ish, so that's good. I had a, a snack for dinner because <laughs> I was like, I don't know when they're going to be gone, so I ate the last of my frozen fries that I brought because I was like, that. Ah. Um, I have to bring that recycling down and take the garbage down, but because Harley is such a weird little dog, anxious eater, I don't want to move while he's eating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here the whole time. Also, see he like grabs the food from the bowl and then walks over and eats it on the pillow. I had to hand feed him the first couple. I think like they've been giving him pumpkin, like pureed pumpkin. And I think that's what he didn't like because I put his food down from this morning and then he didn't, he sniffed it, went outside, immediately went for Dixie's bowl. And so while he was, and then he went down to go to the bathroom. And so while he was <laughs> doing that, I just dumped out the pumpkin stuff, washed the bowl, put in fresh stuff. And after forcing, like, not forcing, after giving him a couple pieces, he started to, you know, just go to the bowl himself. So. That's good, and he's drinking water again, which is good, because I don't think he's drank water all day until very recently, so. Hopefully, whatever it was, he's happy now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start packing up here soon, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm mostly packed, as you saw. I just really have my computer and the last minute cleaning to do. Oh, yay, I'm back! <laughs> I don't know what happened to my voice there. Uh, you know, I love my G7X, for sure, 100%, it's great, but... And like, I'll continue to use it for things where I don't want to bring out my big camera. And, but ever since I got the um, wide angle lens, it's a lot more noticeable. Like, I am barely holding my arm out and I've got better, uh, I've got better distance from the lens and the camera than when I was like doing this. Like, this was basically what I was doing with the other one to get it to like this. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. <sighs> it feels good to 
have this back and I'm sure the audio will be much better but you know I was lazy I didn't want to pack this and I definitely had enough space but you know it is what it is anyways I got a package from Amazon so I'm gonna open this I've been trying to order less and less from Amazon because you know I picked Google as my evil overlord a long time ago and I'm not about to make Jeff Bezos in that place so <laughs> Anyways, I try to order, I try not to order from there as much as I can, but I don't live in a big city, so there are things that I certainly can't get. And so in this box, is something very exciting. <laughs> I think I talked about this the other day, but I ordered some carbon paper, like carbon transfer paper, and it even has these like little pens so you can help trace through it just because as I'm transferring a lot of the more complex patterns onto fabric, it's just, I feel like it's going to be easier to print and then hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. In any case, I feel like this will be a good thing to have. I've seen some people have much success with it and also I haven't been able to find a good white pencil or white marker for my darker colored things. <laughs> For dark fabric, you need to draw on it with a light color. There we go. <laughs> and I haven't been able to find a good one, so this has a white as well as a black. So I think that'll be good. But yeah, that's the only exciting thing I got. I just got home. Well, I got home and then we went and picked up dinner because none of us had eaten dinner really. Oh, fluff. There's just a <laughs> focus. <laughs> and so I'm here now. I don't think I have too much planned for today. I don't really want to set... <sighs> I have a staff meeting tomorrow at work, so I have to bring my laptop in, so I don't really want to set everything up here to just break it down in like 10 hours, but also it's much more convenient to have everything set up, so I don't know. What I'll probably do is I'll probably unpack, and I did do invoicing a day early this week. <laughs> I did it yesterday. I was like, I feel like I don't normally do it Saturday. I feel like I do it Sunday. I was like, but, um, so I think I'll unpack and probably set up my agenda and maybe jump in the shower. And that'll be like the extent of my, oh, I should send an invoice for my invoicing. I got things to do. I've been rambling. I'm so sorry, but I'm a creature of routine. And as much as I love going and puppy sitting and hanging out there and like doing nothing, it gets me out of my routine. So anyways, let's try to get back into that. Alrighty, well, it is definitely the end of the night. I still feel like my thoughts and brain is all mumble jumbled, but hopefully tomorrow will be a better day it is currently... Just about 11, I'm gonna climb to bed because I do have to work in the morning and hopefully I can get to sleep quickly because I slept in kind of late, but also very broken sleep schedules. So we shall see. Um, but with that, I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. I am at the theater as you might be able to tell from my background and um, I am wiped. <laughs> This weekend destroyed me. It was supposed to be a nice chill weekend of uh, puppy sitting and only puppy sitting. And then adding those like three shifts just like destroyed me. So <sighs> I'm very grateful that I'm off tomorrow. But I also like just feel like I have so much stuff to do this week because I was puppy sitting. And so I just kind of let a lot of things go. But we shall see. My lips are like super dry today too, which is not cool. So I think I need to drink more water today. I think that was the problem. <laughs> and... Also, like, I had really weird dreams last night. Like, I was in school, like, high school, I think. But also, it was, like, partially a video game. Slash, if you, like, I don't know, it was really weird. And then I was also trying to ship stuff, like, back east in Canada. Because I was moving. I, there was a lot of weird things. But we survived them. Um, currently, I'm up at the boardroom because today is the first Monday of the month. Which means we have a staff meeting later at 10. So I'm going to go work for a couple hours and then I'll do the staff meeting, and then I might have to work a little bit more afterwards, depending, because again, we were busy this weekend, so we shall see. But anyways, I just wanted to start today <laughs> off. I'm literally falling asleep. It'll be fine, but hopefully have my breakfast drink and uh, things will get better. I am home from work now, and wow, that was a long day. I mean, <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't long. It was five hours and 15 minutes, but <laughs> considering I typically only work for about four hours and usually 
struggle a little bit to find things to do for those four hours. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> it was definitely compounded by the fact that I had a staff meeting in the middle of it, so I had to like pull up my laptop and all that fun stuff. But even without the staff meeting, it would have been a solid four straight hours of work, which was kind of nice. It's nice to get back to that. And it actually looks like um, March is gonna be pretty busy as well. <laughs> At the end of the month, we have like um, a theater camp for kids and like assuming nothing goes crazy, <laughs> we'll still be able to put that on. So yeah, it's nice to be able to work and have a schedule. And I feel like this vlog is very yo-yo-y because on like Saturday, I was complaining about how busy and it wasn't even how busy it was that was the problem like I I don't mind being busy I like the schedule I like routine routine is what I like and when things change I don't like it and normally it's fine but it's just because I was puppy sitting but anyways happy that we're still striving still going forward a lot of theaters are looking at our theater which is pretty awesome we're like the busiest theater on the island and um that's pretty cool we're definitely hitting a staff ceiling crunch <laughs> like you can only do so much with so many people and yet striving to do more, so fun times. Anyways, I'm home now. It is quarter to two. I got off at quarter after one and came home, tidied up a little bit. You honestly can't tell. We're kind of pretty disaster-ishy, but I can promise you, I did tidy up a bit. With <laughs> my pajamas. <laughs> I was gonna make my bed and then I definitely stopped midway through. <laughs> Anyways, on the docket for today is cutting masks. I mentioned it, I don't know if it was earlier in this vlog or last vlog that my boss commissioned me to make some superhero themed masks for all the techs and teachers because they've got a superhero themed camp coming up. So my hope is to get them all cut out today and then get them all sewn tomorrow. That way I can bring them into work and if anybody needs any adjustments or whatever, we'll be good. But. I think for the next couple minutes, I'm just gonna chill a bit, watch a YouTube video, and then um, eventually get into that stuff, I suppose. <laughs> I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. better, better. I wanna take my hands deep down in the dirt. Take a walk along the street. I'm feeling dessert All of this convenience Just doesn't work for me I wanna play with fire Let me get hurt Can we take it back to 95 Before we have this drama In our lives Just staring at the screen Every day and night I miss the rush of living In real life Go get your DeLorean I cut a lot of masks. <laughs> there's like, there's like 30, and by like 30, I mean there's 29. Um, I still need to cut the liners. I have two liners for for this size mask, which is the large, and then I have a bunch of liners for the extra large. I don't know why I cut so many in the extra large size. I don't know. Um, but I have a huge stash over there, so... I sewed up all the front pieces of these, and tomorrow in the very least, where are they? Eh. I need to sew these ones. Well, I don't need to sew them, but I want to sew them because, like I was saying earlier, then I can make sure that they fit, but these are what they look like. Bam, pow, boom, oops, smack, whatever. Yeah, so anyways, those, and then these ones are ones that I'm making for my friends slash for myself whatever, because I thought it would be nice to send some people some masks that are fun and bright and cheerful and just like bring some joy. I already made a stash that I need to send to a friend, but I think I want to send a couple other things with it. One, go through all my inventory there uh, of scrunchies and whatnot, because she doesn't have any of my scrunchies. I haven't sent any to her yet. Um, and like probably some makeup remover pad things. Like it's soon. I don't think it's quite yet, but my Etsy store is almost completely empty. <laughs> If seven listings that are still active 
and it looks like one expires tomorrow and then the rest expire on Saturday, I think, which is totally fine. I've been waiting for that to happen and then I need to count my inventory and then like I'm gonna add everything back on, fix my shipping, open up internationally, and then there's also gonna be a couple embroidery pieces that I put on like one, two, three, four for sure. I think five, six, seven, I think eight, nine, and then somewhere, is it over here? Somewhere I have, I think another four pieces that I just need to hoop and like all these I need to back before I put them up too. That's kind, that's part of the reason I haven't put them up. The other part of the reason being that I'm like super lazy and don't want to take pictures, but yeah, so there will be a big store update coming soon. Um, I just want to let all that expire and then like I said, count all my inventory and stuff because I give away a bunch of scrunchies at Christmas and I did not mark them down and and I also made a bunch of new cotton pads and I don't think I did inventory on those. So that's where we're at. I also think I'm gonna start making some bags soon, like tote bags, but like there's these tote bags that I make by embroidering on them. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece. Like. Part of me kind of wants to try to sell it, but the other part of me is like, it's cool, I like it. Um, but I also, I have a pattern somewhere that I have I've had since like home ec in grade 12 that I want to make some bags out with like the bigger patterns. So I've got like this Harry Potter stained glass one that I think will work well. I've got two, I've got two um, whale ones there that I think will work well. And like a couple up there to various, various things. So that is, on the books, I just have to um, find my pattern, which I kind of want to do tonight because I think I want to go to the fabric store tomorrow so I can get cotton, like just basic, plain cotton to go on the inside because I don't have much of that. And the stuff that I do have isn't really what I'm looking for, but that's where we're at. And then I edited the vlog, which was very exciting. So we've made progress on things, <laughs> but it is quarter to 11 now and I think I'm gonna go to sleep um, because I want to. <laughs> Also because I'm kind of tired and I'm trying to decide right now though if I want to sleep in tomorrow if I want to get up early and get stuff done because I feel like I have a lot of stuff to do. I've got those masks to do. I have like another day and a half of vlog footage to edit for this vlog. I didn't post a video game video this week because I filmed it and I was like I feel like I whined and complained the whole time and so I just haven't bothered to edit it yet. Did I whine and complain? I don't know. We'll find out. And then like I said I want to go to the fabric store so I feel like I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow so... That's why I'm trying to decide if I want to sleep in or not, but like, honestly, this weekend there was like no sleeping in, so... Anyways, we'll figure it out in the morning. <laughs> Either I'll set an alarm and I'll get up, or I'll set an alarm and I won't, or I won't even bother setting an alarm, so... There are three options there. <laughs> um, so, thanks for coming along on this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did. Comment things. I respond to everything. And yeah, I will see you on Saturday for the next vlog. <laughs> Good night.